Hey guys, my name is Sam Snight, and welcome to The Last Night. I believe this is chapter one. This game contains many flashlights, shocking images, and themes such as trauma and depression. So therefore, uh, yeah, I'll play. Wow, I shouldn't have said yes. This was highly rated. Uh, I was, I'm curious to see what the hubbub is about. Check one. Hello. Today, we have the honor to present to you a revolution. Indeed, what you are about to see is pure fiction. Today, on November 21st, 1964, the CarTech oh. Industries research team is proud to present the first prototype of the NeuroLeave. This prototype, although still under development, will soon be available all over the world, in hospitals or at the psychoanalysts. Tired, fed up with the routine, you can't forget your demons, no problem. Neuroleave is there for that. Thanks to its numerous neurotransmitters and its 430 sensors, Neuroleave suppresses all negative thoughts and corrects the negative waves by stimulating the neurons, allowing the injection of a dose of dopamine. So what are you waiting for? Come and try Neuroleave right now. I didn't like that laugh. Although, uh, wouldn't mind something like that. If it wasn't MIND CONTROL! Bet you it's mind control. I know it's mind control. It always is. It's always something. It's always a scheme. What, what are we, there we go. Okay, uh, option. Okay, it works. Nice. Okay, I'm ready to be done now. Go back, please. God damn it, I just shut the game off, didn't I? Oh, no. New game. Jake Hi, Castle. I didn't want to bother you. I just wanted to know how you're doing since the incident. I know you're having a hard time getting over it. That's a difficult thing to overcome for everyone. I just want you to know that it's not your fault. It is! Find another job so you can think about something else. We hope to see you at Christmas by then. Ethan really wants to see his uncle. Take care of yourself. It is my fault! It's always been my fault. Hello? Calm down. You know very well where you are. It is you who choose to be here. Who are you? I'm only here to help you. I wouldn't risk saying my name otherwise. You would put your life in danger, my dear. I'm going fucking crazy. Get out of my head! Calm down. You are just here to get out of it. The situation will improve in a few moments. At least tell me where I am, please! I'm lost! Help me! I cannot help you right now. You're going to have to face a lot of responsibility. Listen, you are going to experience hallucinations. They will be horrible, and the stress and pressure of them can kill you. So you must be brave, boy. You're a figment of my imagination. Sam, get out, get out, get out of my head! Maybe. Well, for now, we'll say yes to reassure you. It is normal to forget everything you know, but the elements will resurface from here very soon. At least tell me why I'm here! It will come back to you, but for now, the test will start in a few minutes. I'll leave you. We'll talk about it later, hoping that it'll help you. Get out of here! Go away! You don't exist! This time, it's not the alcohol's fault. Alcohol? I said too much, damn it! Don't ask questions like that, where it could kill you in a flash. It would get us both in trouble, okay? Well, you'll have to face your first fears. So, cheer up. 
Oh, geez, I was supposed to skip along with that. Whoa. Whoa. What am I supposed to do here? What's happening? Oh! I use the direction pads to... Or the, the little arrow keys? What? Press enter. Wow, this is really, like, dark. This and, oh. The room. The monsters. Well, now that you're finally ready, I'll have to explain the basics. Oh, so th is this a FNAF thing? I know this room isn't exactly warm, but you'll have to get used to it. It's based on your memories, and I don't have control over it. This hospital room, although damaged by time, is still very useful. Here, in these few square meters, you will face your first fears. But don't worry. You'll have enough to counter them. Here, on your right, a small window with a shutter in case you see a hallucination. Make sure you close the window quickly in case one of them tries to get in. However, although useful, this shutter, once closed, will plunge you into mm. darkness. So don't waste too much time. What? The bed you're sleeping on is very useful. So I... hide under it in case a hallucination from the main door rushes in. It probably won't see you. The big main door will never close, so be sure to check on it often just in case. Also, very important, keep an eye on your management screen. It's the only thing that links reality and the simulation. It will show your mental health and many other things. On the downside, it does occasionally disconnect from the simulation when too many hallucinations appear, so make sure you fix any errors it may have to avoid having to do a full calibration again, which I swear is not the thing you want to have in this kind of situation. In summary, hide under the bed, close the window, look through the door, check the tablet. The count is good. Well, we'll be able to launch a simulation. I swear you'll be able to get away without any after effects. A real child's game. First simulation launched, 20% hallucination rate. Um, what? This is the main no, I know that. Why are we? No, not what I wanted. Oh my god, why are you like this? You've already walked me through launch experience. My goal is reaching a BPM of 65. Okay. It's very dark. Huh? Why, though? Woo! I don't know what to do about that. What am I supposed to do about that? I'll just hide under here. Why are you a thing? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I don't get it. Whoa, what the hell is this shit? What am I doing? What? Hey. 
I don't know what to do about you. I really don't. I don't understand this. Will you stop? Alright. I'll give it another shot. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe it's my own inability to understand directions. My tiredness. Do I need those up? What's, your, what's this? What am I... What is going... Hey, it's you again. If I stare at you long enough, what happens? Maybe I'm just inept. I'll give it one more shot. Because I'm not fully understanding the game here. Right, maybe if I go back. I should do a new game. And then skip all this stuff. And I, I listen to the tutorial a little bit better. Yes, the room. The room. Why am I having such a hard time with this? Well, now that you're finally Oh, there's a flashlight. The basics. First of all, a little presentation of the place. I know this room isn't exactly warm, but you'll have to get used to it. It's based on your memories, and I don't have control over it. This hospital room Although damaged by time, is still very useful. Here, in these few square meters, you will face your first fears. But don't worry, you'll have enough to counter them. Here, on your right, a small window with a shutter in case you see a hallucination. Make sure you close the window quickly in case one of them tries to get in. However, although useful, this shutter, once closed, will plunge you into darkness. So don't waste too much time. The bed you're sleeping on is very useful, so hide under it in case a hallucination from the main door rushes in. It probably won't see you. The big main door will never close, so be sure to check on it often just in case. Also very important, keep an eye on your management screen. It's the only thing that links reality and the simulation. It will show your mental health and many Whoa. other things. On the downside, it does occasionally disconnect from the simulation when too many hallucinations appear. So make sure you fix any errors it may have to avoid having to do a full calibration again. Which I swear is not the thing you want to have in this kind of situation. In summary, hide under the bed, close the window, look through the door, check the tablet. The count is dead. Well, you'll be able to launch a simulation. I swear you'll be able to get away without any after effects. A real child. All right, the monsters, the... Hector. Hector. Fizzy. Albert. The technical assistant, Humper. Mr. Pungo. Funky Jack. I don't like Mr. Pungo. All right, I'll give it. I'll give it another try. I'm sure there's lore and all that to this game, and I am assuming I'm taking this experiment to relieve my guilt from whatever happened before. I don't like that the the space bar because you have to hit the arrow keys and the space bar and use the mouse. And hit enter the camp the the Hello? 
Oh. I did it. Look at me go. Why? Why did that happen? You stop. Mr. Pongo! Alright, Mr. Pongo got me. The controls are a little too wonky for me. Uh, they're pretty challenging to use. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel. I feel like there's something here. I just don't know if I'm going to be the one to uncover it. So, be sure to check in for the next one, because I want to see you there.